We're jumping straight into things today in Shrouded. I've been excited for this one for a long time. Let's get into it. We already created our character. Let's go ahead and see what the actual game is like. Host, private. We'll start with a private game. We do have a server coming on later today. We'll get that one going, figure out how that works. But let's go private. Let's go new game. My world, sure. Play. All right, depending on if we show that or not, that was a really cool intro. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Let's check this out. So there we are. All right. I'm excited to jump into this world. We've been waiting on this one for a while. Rested, inactive, sheltered, warmth, comfortable. Okay. UI is really cool. Jump. We got a little bit of dive action with the control button. Left click, punch. Right click, nothing. C button, crouch. Yep. Cinder Vault. Oh, here we go. Commune with the flame. Okay. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. Flame altar. So we need to reach the plains. Looks like we got a little bit of a trip. Let's get moving. We got like a little rested bonus up there. Okay. New location charted. Oh, here we go. Into the world. There's nothing better than coming into a brand new world, especially when it looks as good as this. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate the map. All right. Crafts people. Wow, there's so much going on here. So that is where we're going. Set his waypoint. Let's go see what we got here. What is this? Read. Okay, I won't put you guys through the pain of listening to me read that. Okay, looks like we're going in here. We've got, got a torch. Nice. We can attack or we can throw it. You should get a torch right away. That's a good thing. Oh. Okay. Nothing really down here. Looks like we're heading that way. Can I break stuff? Oh, we can. All right. Cool. All right. Got a couple things there. Space to take. We got some bandages. We got a couple different torches. Awesome. Can we climb? Oh, there's a ladder. We can obviously climb that, right? Okay, we can climb that. Can I climb regular walls? No. This will be our first time even checking this out. I didn't get a chance to play the demo, so we're not extremely familiar with this. Oh, it looks like it's bad stuff. Okay. Anything behind there? No. What do we got? The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Okay, scrape, escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Okay. Anything behind those ones? No. Oh, we are enshrouded. Okay. Let's stay focused and keep moving then. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Press control to dodge. Take that. Okay. This looks really cool. Oh, we got a friend. Oh, that was awesome. All right, search. Shroud spores, take. The space bar to take is going to take a little getting used to, but that's still cool. From what I understand, this game is eventually going to go to Xbox and PlayStation. There is supposed to be server support day one, so we do have a server coming up for it later today. I'm excited to check that out. Okay, go give you all your items. This looks so cool. Uh, can we break little stuff like this? I don't know if you get anything out of it, but I wanted to check. Loot. Loot. We'll definitely take anything we can. It's like every other survival craft game we've ever played. We need to gather everything. Looks like we actually broke our torch. Oh, what's this? If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. Okay. Recipe unlocked shield. Rough wood block. Okay. We're not too far. Oh, what is this? Little village action. While equipped with a shield or melee weapon, press right mouse button to block. Okay. We need... Oh, here we go. Can I grab that? 
Oh, uh, we should be able to grab that. Oh, let's see if there's anything else up here. See, I feel like we should be able to grab this shield and that sword. Alright, let's search this little area real quick. Got some loot. No, no, don't sleep. Okay. Wake up. No time to sleep right now. We got things to do. Captain's Journal, day one. New lore page. I love it. All this little lore stuff. It's going to be awesome. Anything else? <laughs> we'll just break things. We need to get ourselves a weapon and some other things. I want to see if it drops anything. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we can harvest berries. We can harvest honey, it looks like. Awesome. Eat everything as we run by. We're almost to the spot that we're headed to, so let's get over there and figure out what we got to do over there. We'll gather a little bit on the way, see if we can get ourselves some clothes, some weapons. You know what else we have to do here? This world is pretty amazing looking. And I know there's a whole world underneath us. From what I understand, you can actually dig into the ground. It's voxel-based. So you're able to dig into the ground like Valheim or, or not as crazy as Seven Days to Die, I don't think. But I think you can dig down under the ground pretty well. All right, location reached. Journal. Quest. We need to claim a spot for your base. Build a flame altar. Okay. So I need to build a flame altar. You can quickly navigate. Okay, yep, we're good there, good there, good there. All right, flame altar. We just need five stone. Craft it. Okay, and then that should be on our hot bar. Looks like we got two hot bars. Alt, we do. And everything you grab goes on your hot bar. Okay. All right. Put her down. Let's do it. Commune with the flame. All right, you're not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby just outside the shroud's grasp. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we can upgrade the altar if we have a shroud core. We can strengthen the flame. We need a lot of things for that. Reset skill points. Extinguish flame. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get to gathering first. Well, it says tra finding a sleeping survivor. Let me see if we can at least craft ourselves some kind of tools or weapons first. All right. We need four twigs and a stone. So let's see if we can get ourselves some twigs and a stone. Alright, we can make our first axe. Let's get that going. Let's also fix this hot bar issue here. Our hot bar is nasty. Uh, there we go. We can go with that one. Alright. There we go. Awesome. And then we still got to pick it up off the ground. Okay. Alright, next thing we need to make is... We definitely need a club. Let's get a club going. We need a shield. We need some string. I don't know how to make that just yet. Same with the bow. Okay. Construction hammer. We can make that. All right. Let me see. So is the flame altar kind of like our crafting bench? We'll go back and check that out. That's quite a bit of stuff we got already. Nice. All right. Let me see. Commune with the flame. Uh, no. So it doesn't look like it. Oh, workbench. There we go. We unlocked a workbench. For that, we need string. How do I make string? Oh, we got our first friend. Here we go. Let's do it. I don't have a shield yet, so there's no blocking. Loot. Loot. Take. Take. All right. Looks like we're going in there for the first adventure. And we're going to find another survivor. Interesting. We'll have to see how this works. Alright, we're going to go across that, but let's go look at this little thing over here. Oh, we got an actual chest here. Health potion, bandage, and wooden arrow. Nice. <laughs> we'll just break everything. Can I take that with me? Looks like our weapons and stuff do have durability, so we need to watch out for that. All that. Do we have like a weight stat? I don't see a weight stat up there. So we're going across. 
new location charted. I like it. I like those little notifications like that. Oh. Okay. You can't proceed without a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Oh, good. We got to go down through the shroud. This is a really cool laid out world. Let's go check this out. Got another box. With more wooden arrows. So we need a bow. All these arrows we're getting. Break those. Get that. Got some health potions. Oh. Alright, the shroud is making some crazy noise. Let's go check it out. Alright. Let's go ahead and torch up. Okay, so we only have five minutes to be in the shroud, so I don't want to stay here very long. There you go. Give me that club. Alright. Let's get through this kind of quickly. We got some kind of ring. We'll check that out in just a second. We're going to stay on the path, just in case. I know there's, like, stuff we should search down there, but I don't want to be down here when there's five minutes ends, just in case. Good, we're going through. Okay. This is cool looking. We're going up. Oh, please say we can climb you. Yes. Climbing, climbing. Okay, cool. We're out of the shroud, right? We're good and safe. All is good. Oh, is that a... That's a friendly. Let's go. Oh, this guy's cool looking. Look at him. I want your armor. I should be able to take all your armor. We got metal scraps. I can't have his bow. This is the other side of the bridge, it looks like. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll do a bunch of searching later. We gotta stay on focus. Uh, stay, stay on track. Stay focused just a little bit today. We're gonna try. I think we're heading the right way. Follow the path. I'm very curious how this is going to work on a server. It looks like on servers, from what I read earlier, you can have up to 16 players. I don't know if that's still accurate. Brushes can conceal you. When you're within them, press C to crouch. Ah. So we can go all stealthy, huh? Yeah, that's not how we do things here. Oh! 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 Oh, so far back. Uh, oh, it looks like you don't actually drop your items, or do I just not drop? Hold on. Uh, inventory. Okay, so it looks like we only drop certain things. Can we put this ring on? What do we do with this? Equip. There you go. We have a ring. It's plus 8 stamina and plus 10 health. Nice. So it looks like you keep your hotbar... Most of your hot bar stuff. Okay. Alright, well, let's get back over there. We're also a little low on health. I don't know if we can refill that on our way there. Let's do that. Oh, we just got an actual sword. Hold on. We got a... Where's my backpack here? We got a decent looking sword. And... Is that a shield? No, it's just a rune material. It looked like a shield. We should definitely search this a little more. The hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time. Oh. Okay. Truly cool. Have all that. We should probably be skipping most of this, but we had a little more time this time. We missed that the first time through. All right, let's go try this again. No. Okay, we made it into the room, but we're full-on just hiding right now. I don't know if I can actually beat these guys. We probably should have made shields and other stuff before we came over here. We didn't really think this through very well. Kind of like usual. Oh, he is quick. Okay, ready? Okay, we need to hit, hit, hit. Spin away. Okay, let him do his thing. Oh, God. 
He hits so hard. Oh, again. Okay, we got some nighttime friends. There's a couple of them here. Let's see if we can take these guys out. There you go. There you go. Get it. Oh, he's actually stunned. Get over there. Okay. Not too bad. Nice little start. A little bit of torn cloth. Still trying to figure out how to get string. That's what we're actually working on right now. A little bit of string action is what we need. We can also probably sleep through the night if we go back to those beds up there. We could do that. Let's actually run around and fight a couple guys just for fun. Oh, we found our first string. Okay. That's exactly what we need. We're going to kind of ransack this area over here. We've been trying to figure out how to get string for a little while now. Getting a little bit of it at least. Oh, here we go. I think it's these things right here. Let's grab that though. Grab that. So it looks like it's these things. I think. We'll break these and see if that's where we got it. Uh, loot. Just that. Just that. Come on. That one. We got metal scraps. Okay. Wood, wood. Okay, keep searching. We need more. We need more. Okay, let's cook a little bit of food. So the cooking's a little bit different. You put it down on your hot bar and then hold it in there. At least to finish. Let's do another one. Grilled lean meat. Nice. Do that one. Oh, very, very similar to... Valheim. Got to listen for the sizzle. All right. We already scooped some water a second ago. Let's go see now. We got just a little bit of string. Do I have enough to make that first workbench at least? That'd be huge. There we go. Workbench. Finally. Go ahead and put this guy down. Can we just place it anywhere? Oh. All right. Craft and repair. Construction hammer. Rough stone block. Rough wood block. Plant fiber. Storage. Lighter, grappling hook. We just need string and shroud. We need fireflies for comfort. Interesting. Manual crafting. Axe, campfire, torch, lockpick. Lots of cool things here. There we go. Shield. Boom. We will have a shield finally. Uh, can we do... We can make string also from plant fiber. That's awesome. Let's craft a couple of those. And then we can make a bow... And we already have some arrows. There we go. All right. Okay, so if you just click it, it actually repairs all your stuff on your hotbar. Awesome. That's a thing. We actually have a decent amount of stuff now. Let's go ahead and equip the shield. And journal, backpack, character, skills. Oh, wow. Sneak attack. Merciless attack. Lumberjack. Mason. Three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. Merciless attack. Mason. 30% more damage against stone. Failing axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects. Sneak attack. Well rested. Interesting. And then you have... Look at this. It's got survivor, beastmaster, ranger, assassin, trickster, wizard, healer, battle mage, tank, warrior, barbarian, athlete. Wow. Man, I don't even know. I kind of want to go up towards Beastmaster and Ranger. I feel like that's where we're going to go. So that one, Dexterity. Increase range damage. Unlock. Okay. All damage dealt with range weapon increased by 10%. Oh, we need more for that. Endurance. Eagle Eye. Oh. All right, we're going that way. Okay. So we're going that way. Uh, it looks like you. I could unlock that one too. My bad. So I don't know if we can really go into two classes or if we have to really focus on just one, but we'll kind of check that out a little bit. All right, uh, I think we're at least ready. All right, made a quick storage. We're going to drop most of our stuff in here, at least a bunch of the stuff, and then we're going to get moving. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're doing this again. Can we actually block this guy? I hope so. There we go. We can actually block. That's awesome. All right. Let him do his thing. Oh, we did some kind of shield bash. That was awesome. Ah, we took down our first big dude. Take that. 
There you go. Revenge. We got two more to deal with over here. Here's one. We should probably try the bow out a little bit, but I, I think I'm good with the shield. Oh, yeah. The shield bash is nice. Got him. Take that. Oh, man. You guys kicked my butt, but no more. Can I do just a little bit of sneak and maybe just a little bit of arrows? Doesn't seem like it hit him. There he goes. Keep backing up. Yeah, we got him. Okay, there we go. We got a range fight too. We can do this. All right, let's go. Okay, stop sneaking. We're in it now. Okay, what do we got? We've got... Something here. What is this? Retrieve. Oh, that's my body. <laughs> there you go. Take all. F to take all. Okay, what is? what do we have over here? Did we do that earlier? All right, we got that. Okay, this must be our friend up here. Awakened Survivor. Got it. Oswald Anders the Blacksmith. We need... A summoning staff. Okay. How do we make a summoning staff? Charcoal at the charcoal kiln. If you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening the map using M. <gasps> we can fast travel? Fast travel. Oh, that's huge. Okay, we can actually fast travel home. That's awesome. I was kind of worried that the travel in this game was going to be rough, but fast travel helps a lot. I wonder if there's mounts or anything. I don't think there are, but... Okay, commune with flame. The survival will be worthy addition to our cause. Place them in the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay. So let's check out this summoning staff. Craft. Okay. I have a summoning staff. Don't know where it's at, but we have one. There we go. Okay. Tab to ready the summoning staff. Bring in Oswald. Boom. What's up, man? Yeah. We have a friend. What's up, dude? Okay, can I get rid of that? Talk and craft. Flame and glory. Craft. Craft first gear. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me? Look at you, weak and puny. I know, man. This dude's huge. He's got a messed up eye, though. All right, the words of flame born. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club. Okay. Craft. E. So this guy is, he's our blacksmith. Awesome. Fur armor set. We need more string for that, I think. We can make string real quick. Craft. And then blacksmith. Fur armor set. Craft. Boom. We've got an armor set, man. Let's do this. Okay, let's go like this. I'm sorry, backpack. And equip. Oh. It's not a set. <laughs> is it not a set? What in the world, man? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you have to click on each one. So we got to make each individual piece. Aha. Okay. So I need a bunch of string to do that. I think I can make a little bit more string. Let's see what we can make here. There you go. We'll make a few of those. Back to this. Back to the fur armor set. We need. We also need animal fur, which I might actually have. Let's check the actual thing over here. I've got just a little bit of animal fur. Let's just... How do we take all? There you go. Take it all. We'll figure it out from there. All right. Let's see how close we are. Now fur armor set. Manual... Oh, I'm sorry. Fur armor set. And I can make pants. And we can make gloves. We need more animal fur for both of those pieces. I need four more animal fur. Okay. Let's go backpack and equip. And where was the other one? Equip. There you go. Slowly upgrading. I mean, we should run around with no shoes and no shirt on anyway. Uh, in terms of crafting, we could do a little bit of crafting today, but we're probably going to save that for the next episode. Let's go rough stone block, rough wood block. Can we do, like, a bunch of it? 
There you go. Now, if we go try to build stuff, get our building hammer. Building hammer, tab to enter building mode. Oh, we need a bunch. Oh, you need a, a ton, okay. So we need more than what we did. Wood block, stone block. Stone, I can make a few. I'm just gonna make a bunch and see what we can do real quick. I just wanna make like a little outskirt of a base. We're not big into base building early in the season anyway. Hopefully we don't have to stay here very long. All right, now, tab, there we go. All right, cool. Oh man, oh, these are cool. Oh, the way it moves is interesting. Okay, we gotta move that stuff, or are we out? Oh, we're just short. Okay, can I move stuff? How do we move? Pick it up. Okay, and then, I need to go ahead and put you back in the hot bar. There we go. Boom. And pick up. Perfect. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to the control scheme here, but it's not bad. Okay. We just need a bunch more wood to at least get some walls. Let me work on that real quick. I'll at least get us some walls before we end it today. Okay. The building in this is pretty interesting. It's, it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. How do we... R to rotate? Okay. I don't want to close him out there. How do I, do I... Can I move him inside? How do we do that? All right. Go like that. Go like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Remove. Removing's easy, which is good, because we're going to mess this up a lot. Okay. So we're going to close you out for just a second, but I promise we'll get you back in. And then we need some roof action. Oh, there's pillars. Wow. Okay. We're going to be a little enclosed to begin with, but... We'll fix it up after that. Alright, and let's do another window back here. Rotate. Boom. Okay. Alright, awesome, dude. Uh, that's actually really cool. Let's do that. Can I bring him back in this way? Like this? There we go. Nice. There you go. Now he's inside. Give me with the flame. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. That's cool, man. Upgrade altar. Ex extend building range. We still need the shroud. Strengthen the flame. Oh, we can throw stuff in. Oh, we need resin, bones. Okay, that's something we'll work on. All right, guys, that's a pretty good start. Uh, I'll make sure we have the rest of the clothes and stuff before the next episode starts, but oh, no. Oh, that's just water. That's fine. All right, very cool, man. I am super impressed with this game. This is super cool. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to the patrons and YouTube members that make this channel possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. I made it to the end of the video, my, my MVP. I do appreciate you guys. More Enshrouded, Myth of Empires, Conan, Ark, lots of stuff coming up in the next several days. Have a great day.